Microsoft has been taking their customers through a roller coaster of changes with their pricing on Xbox Live. On January 22nd, the company announced a price raise on Xbox Live memberships from $59.99 per year to $59 for just six months, doubling the rate for a lump sum yearly prescription. After serious backlash, Microsoft rescinded the change quickly only a day later and told customers their Xbox Live membership costs would remain the same. In addition, free-to-play games Fortnite and Call of Duty Warzone are now available to play without an Xbox Live membership. Hitman 3, the stealthy assassin game developed and published by IO Interactive, has released to a fantastic start. It has outsold all its predecessors and has topped the physical sales chart in the UK. It barely edged out Animal Crossing's New Horizon, which has held the best-selling spot over the past few weeks, and nearly half of all its physical sales have been for PlayStation 5, with the PS4 and Xbox consoles evenly splitting the difference. Resident Evil Village has gotten a release date and even a free demo for those who have a PlayStation 5. The game is set to release May 7th, but the demo is out now for those fortunate enough to have PlayStation's latest console. It will release on both old and new generations of consoles, but those who want to upgrade don't need to fear purchasing the older gen versions as a free upgrade to the next gen version will apply to all owners of the game. Also releasing with Village is Resident Evil Reverse, a multiplayer segment similar to what has been implemented in last year's remake of Resident Evil 3. Valve, Zenimax, Focus Home, and other large gaming publishers have been fined a total of nearly 8 million euros after being found in violation of the EU digital single market. The European Commission criticized the offending companies for enforcing geographic digital key unlocks, which prevented game keys from being utilized from across country lines. According to the rules of the EU competition laws, preventing activation of digital games due to geographical location is wrong and apparently can result in some pretty hefty fines. God of War developer Santa Monica Studios has posted a job listing for a title which does not seem to have anything to do with their God of War series. The listing for a new art director tempts applicants with the prospects of a large-scale, genre-defining project. It will be interesting to see what Santa Monica has up their sleeve as God of War has been their primary focus for many years. While the God of War series has certainly shown Santa Monica to be a capable studio, time will tell if their skill holds up with something new. The incredibly popular Fortnite is getting an equally popular cast of characters to be unlocked or purchased in Chapter 2 Season 5. The legendary Predator, a skilled and honor-bound sci-fi hunter, is now available complete with emotes, banner, and weapon. Also available for purchase is the T-800 Terminator himself, ready to do what Terminators do best. And finally, a Sarah Connor skin is available to even the cybernetic playing field. With so many popular cinema characters on screen, one might be tempted to rename their favorite battle royale, Movie Night. Update 1.1 has dropped for Cyberpunk 2077 and begins to fix many of the launch issues that have plagued console and PC players alike. Focusing on quality of life issues and bugs, the update is supposed to address system stability, AI interactions, memory usage, and correct the corruption of oversized save files. The biggest game of 2020 seems to have a long journey ahead to correct many glaring issues which have been present since launch, but hopefully this update will be the first of many that will craft the futuristic RPG into the game it should have launched as.